What's going on, B-Risers? Hope you're doing fabulous. Thought we would go for a walk today. It's so beautiful, you guys. Check out the trails here. It just snowed. So it's so peaceful and beautiful. And I thought I would do a quick video. I don't know, maybe it won't be quick. <laughs> But I thought um, I would just share with you my experience after detox, after cleaning out my body a little bit. No, not really cleaning out too much. I still have some, you know, hardened lymph nodes. That's from years. I think I was, might have been born with it actually. But um, a lot of my other health issues, you know, you guys know I'm clearing those ones up. So. Yeah, I, uh, so as I've been working on my body, cleaning out my body with, you know, the herbs and doing the more astringent fruits, you guys gotta check this out here. This is like, probably doesn't do justice on video, but it is so nice. I should actually just walk like this. Oh, actually behind me is pretty awesome too. Sorry, I'm probably making you guys dizzy. So, yeah, so I've been working on my body and uh, what I've noticed is that my body is way more sensitive now. And, you know, with holidays or birthdays, you guys may find that it's challenging because you may be faced with, you know, all these different types of foods. And when it's in front of you, you know, it's so tempting. It can be challenging to be like, you have to have really good willpower to say, no, I'm not going to do this. And then, you know, with the holidays, it's like you want to have fun and you want to enjoy yourself. And I'm really about having a good balance for you, a good mental balance too. A lot of it though is can, can be emotional, but you want to have fun. And with the holidays or birthdays, that's, you know, throughout the year, you're living in this world. I mean, you you want to have some fun, right? And uh, you just don't want to uh, have too much fun, which is what I did in the past. I had too much fun, and uh, and yeah, it really I really hurt my body. So what I want to share with you, actually, let's go down here, you guys, because up on the trails but I think it's getting windy. We'll go down here. So what I did was I was out with some family and you know we were having a great time and they were, they had pizza there and this was after I been working on my body for a while. I thought you know what, I'm gonna I'll just have a piece of pizza. No big deal. Although I knew I probably wouldn't feel good after, I just did it anyways, and I was like, oh, you know, I just want, sometimes you just want to try it again, <laughs> and the smell, right? So, had some pizza, and you guys, I had never felt so much pain the entire night. I was in so much discomfort, I had to sit I had to like lie in a ball because I had so much pain in my intestinal tract. I could literally almost feel my intestines trying to like assimilate and figure out what to do with all the gluten. It, was, it wasn't it was gluten free either. So I'm really, really gluten is just not, not, <laughs> not my friend. Um, I just realized you know, how, how important it is to take gluten out. And I thought, no big deal. You know, at the time I thought, no big deal, but I really paid for it, you guys. And that, again, was cause and effect. I, I brought this, you know, heavy, dense pizza in that I haven't had in so long. And then I realized, okay, why I, I don't need to be eating these foods and it's actually really, really hurting me in my intestinal tract. And the pain, you guys, I felt all night. 
it wasn't worth it for me. It wasn't even worth the taste. <laughs> and um, I mean, you share your own stories down below if you've done, you know, if you've kind of gone off the trail a little bit, but then that is really your own teacher. It's an experience is everything because once you started working on your body and cleaning your intestines out from the, you know, the gluten, the plaque and the yeast, and then you put that back in the flour, oh, it was not a fun experience for me. And uh, one that I will remember and not forget. So easy to retox. <laughs> then I find detox. It's just so easy to put, you know, garbage in. And then it's, it's like, it's a lot harder to take it out. <laughs> That's my experience though. Especially if, if we've done, like me, I've done a lot, lot of years of retoxing, retoxifying my body. So definitely a learning experience for me and learning to take care of my body and really be conscious of what is coming in now. And so I can't veer off to, I can't go off the, <laughs> the trail too much, you guys. So I, I now know, and it was a good lesson for me. I didn't even have that, you guys. So I understand when people are going on the meat, you know, the carnivore diet, I get it, because I didn't feel that pain eating meat. Um, it didn't hurt me that bad. And, you know, I know there's, um, there's a lot to consider with the whole meat diet. I don't, you guys know how I feel about just eating only meat. Um, I just don't think that's sustainable long-term or healthy long-term. But uh, I get in like survival situations. Like if you look here, you guys, you know, if I was just in nature here, what am I gonna eat? Right, but we're not in survival times. I mean, there's a river right there. Um, so some people were asking how I feel about fish. Do a separate video on that. I think there is time and place. Um, and I wanna do a video too on omegas. Uh, I think that's really important in getting lots of omega-3s instead of omega-6s. So that was, that's a whole other video, but I tend to, tend to just go off. See, this is what happens when I do these videos. There's no structure, so I just, <laughs> any, I just anything can come out. Um, but yeah, so with, you know, holidays, birthdays, you know, have fun. Have fun, but um, learn from me that, <laughs> you know, you don't want to go too crazy because you'll feel the blowback from it and uh, you know the effect of it and it's it's maybe everyone will have the needs their own learning experience to you know to realize that you know to learn not to what what foods affect them so i just thought i'd share that with you guys is that i, I really can't uh go off the path too much or my body will uh let me know and it will not be happy with me. <laughs> so I was in so much pain, you guys. It, 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 I literally could feel, um, it was almost like just super bad cramps that I've never experienced before. Um, I probably would have taken like menstrual cramps over that because it was just nonstop and I could feel it throughout the entire night. Um, just immense cramping. Uh, felt like my intestines were almost being ripped apart. Just awful. So I know not to do that. And I know, you know, just keep with whole foods from nature uh, that the body can assimilate, digest, absorb. That's not gonna hurt me. <laughs> and uh, you can still have, you know, tasty food, you guys. Make it whole plant foods. I. What I like to do now is if I go to a family and friend's house, you know, I'm not just gonna be bringing, I mean, I could, I have done, brought like lots of fruit trays and veggie trays, but I also like to make it tasty to show people, you know, like easy ways that you can transition, especially like sweet potato, you can do it mashed up, add, add a bit of maple syrup, <laughs> I like it sweet. 
Uh, yeah, that's so good. So there's lots of different things you can do um, with whole plant foods and to show people like to slowly transition them to a healthier way of living. So I thought I'd share that with you guys and I hope you enjoyed the trail walking. There's nobody out here. Absolutely beautiful. So hope you guys enjoy, you know, the holidays, enjoy just even being with yourself. If, if you want to just, you know, go out for a walk like, like me, just enjoy being in nature and enjoy br breathing in fresh air, just getting out, relaxing too. Some people may just need to take some, some time just to relax and rest. And that's great. And, uh, and just, you know, have fun, but uh, don't go off too crazy like me <laughs> or you'll feel it. You'll feel the blowback. So hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and weekend. And we'll see you guys in the next video. As always, be your beautiful selves. Be getting in some nature today. Beautiful nature. And be enjoying some time with yourself or with friends or family, people that make you feel good, even if it's animals. And we'll see you guys in the next video. As winter is creeping Skips to eat as the wind touches my skin.